So first you're going to need your tent poles. The length of the longest poles that I've got here is just under 27 inches long. So as you can see these tent poles are made of fiberglass so that they're really bendy and that's really good to make a bow out of. And also these bits which connect them are made of metal so that these connector bits will be nice and strong. So now what you want to do is you want to take some duct tape and then you want to tape it around where any of these connectors are so they just don't come out really easily. So once you've done that on your two very longest poles, you then want to use a combination of string and duct tape to tie them together so they're just parallel like this. Now I've cut one pole shorter to a length of 24 inches and then I cut another one to 24 inches and now I'm going to secure them like this on either side so that they overlap on the handle piece the same amount and then they go all the way down but they don't reach the end. So as you can see again I've just put a piece of duct tape down around the middle and I'm then going to do it on the ends and then wrap string tightly around it. So now what I've done here is I've gone and secured all of these pieces on and the bow is good like this. Now I've got a piece of 12 inches long and another piece of 26 inches long and I'm going to secure them on the back side like this. So now that I've secured most of the pieces in place quite well with string and duct tape, I'm going to start tightly wrapping duct tape around all of the bits where the edges of the poles join to each other. So now that I've done this and when I flex the bow like this, I can feel that all of the tent poles are really secure and in place and they're not going to be moving at all. Now I'm just going to put duct tape going down the whole thing to cover up the string and make it look better aesthetically. So now I've wrapped everything in the black duct tape and it looks quite a lot better. I'm going to do some cross weaving with some string all the way down the entire bow. So now I've wrapped the string all the way down here. I'm going to wrap some string just around this middle part for where my hand's going to go. So now what I've done is I've just gone and hammered a nail in through between two of the fiberglass poles and then wrapped some tape around it and that's going to be the arrow rest. Also as you can see over the end here I made a lump by putting some string on it and wrapping tape around that so that then the bow string can fit over there and pull down and it can't go any further. If you don't already have a commercial bow string these are really easy to make. What I did was I just took a long strong shoelace and tied a bowline knot in each end and then with the bowline knot you can just put it over the end like this and pull it down and it's fine. So the total length of my bow is 52 inches and the length of my bowstring is 47 inches. So the way that you attach the bowstring is you have the bottom of the bowstring attached around the bottom loop and then you put the bow over your foot like that and then you put your leg over the edge like that and then you just press it against your legs and bend it and like this until you can put the top of the bow string over the top loop and then you take your leg out and now the bow string's on and then when you're not using the bow you just take off the bow string so it doesn't weaken the bow so now the bow's ready to shoot all you need to do is attach some duct tape or insulation tape around this bit where you're going to be pulling the arrow back just so that it doesn't cut your fingers so i've put a string on the bow now as you can see um this is just some tough red power cord which won't stretch very easily at all and i've bought some finally i've gone and bought some new proper arrows instead of using the homemade ones which weren't as good as proper commercial ones and these are fiberglass arrows so they're not very heavy and they've got rubber fletchings on the back so that these easily bend and they've got blunt tips on the front because I don't need them to be sharp at all because I'm never going to use them for anything apart from target shooting and the knocks clip into the back of this and they don't fall off at all so let's see how well these new arrows shoot with my bow. So this is the second um, fiberglass bow which I've made out of fiberglass tent poles and I think it turned out really well. Now I'm just going to test out the new arrows with my older fiberglass bow.
fire against a coconut. That shot actually stabbed into the coconut and it's put a crack down here and there was also another hole here from when I hit it the other time. Now I'm going to shoot with a more powerful bow and see if I can stab all the way into the first layer and maybe even crack the other side. So this shot was able to stab all the way in and it's gone all the way in this deep into the coconut and made a big crack going all the way down the side. The impact of that shot was actually so heavy that it's gone and flattened the end of this arrow. So it finally stabbed all the way through and came out the other side and ripped this big back piece off. I hope you enjoyed watching this video of how to make a bundle bow and if you did please hit the subscribe button down below and like if you enjoyed it. Also if you want to see a shooting video, a full shooting video of my other bundle bow which was the first one that I made, just click on the link in the description. Also if you have any suggestions for any weapons which you'd like me to make in the future, hit the like button down below.